What would you think if somebody sprayed crinkle coat on their doors? Bed liner. Yeah. What do you think, Kat? I think it looks great. Oh yeah, well, I think it's gonna work good. A lot of these doors on this, on this old truck you see from the interior. Mm -hmm. And I did the doors, the back sides of the doors, in it, and I also did um, all the way up around. Jams. The bottom line of this stuff is it just hides a lot of blemishes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it does. This stuff right here. Yeah. It's wrapped liner. It's for bed it's for yeah, bed liner. Bed liner. But it's durable. It's gonna clean off easy. It is it is durable. Yeah. It's it's like it's like a rock. And I'm not, I don't have to use my automotive paint and then wait a day and then hang the doors and you know. I yep. know. You've I already waited, it's there. already set up enough and it did it behind the cab too, just because it was there. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, taped off the door jam and did it all the way around the edge. Kind of dark in here. I did make a mistake. I should have taped, when I taped this, I should have come right to this edge. And I didn't, which means now we have to tape this way. Tape it off this way so that we can get paint on here to the outside. Which is a little added pain in the neck, but it's not the end of the world or anything. But yeah. it is an added step. But I'm going to get a black carpet. I'm going to use the black uh, trim rails on the sides, and then you got the black of the crinkle coat, and it's all going to be like a nice texture. Black. Yeah, I think it's going to work out well. Yeah, well, we'll see. In fact, I might even get another can and do the rest of the interior. Now, I'll probably leave the ceiling just what it is, because it's decent from the factory still. So. Yeah. Black and tan interior. Black and tan? Yeah. Which makes me thirsty. Which is always good. <laughs> <laughs> This stuff's really easy to spray. Uh, you know, you get a kit for uh, between 100 and 150 bucks. I had left over from last year when I did a Jeep. Yep. And you, you buy the gun with it, and it's just a, it's so simple. You, you plug it in, you, you put the mixture in the hardener, you shake it like crazy, twist it onto the gun, and it just, it just shoots out like this crinkle coat. If you up the pressure, you get actually a finer mist. Mm -hmm. If you really want it to be textured, then you, you take the pressure down. But Less pressure, more texture. Yeah, but I was shooting this at about like 80 pounds, which is kind of crazy, but it's really thick stuff. So, yeah. You know. And it just, you know, you don't, you don't have to worry about striping or anything because it just goes on. As long as you got it coated, it's going to all level out. That's a good way to... Yeah, I, there's, I a lot of yeah there's like no tiger stripey or anything no, like you, that. You don't use, and it's flat. I mean, it just hide everything yeah. all the way up the door. Yeah. Plus, I think it's pretty good and protective. I mean, as far as chip guard, it's like a chip guard, you know? It is, yeah. So the bottoms of your doors, you know, don't get chipped up. I like it. I like the idea. Oh, well, we'll see how it all comes together. Yeah, it might be awesome. I wish, I wish I'd uh, filmed it, filmed you spraying it on, but I didn't. Yeah. It's oh, a well. urethane enamel paint. So. Yep. Heavy urethane with rubberized bits in it, actually. Yeah. And you could also buy a tinnable. That's right. So you could match your color. Yeah, you could it's buy... Close. I did that once. I, yeah, we did, I did it in white. white. Yeah. I don't know if I'd go crazy trying to match an exotic color or something, but... You know, you could get silver and do a two-tone deal or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, this was the black. It comes in black, or it comes in white, and it comes in tinnable, I think. Yeah. The tinnable is like a creamy white that you can... Uh, what did I do with my truck? I got I had tinnable, and I had a couple of little pints of leftover paint, and I mixed it in and made it gray. Mm -hmm. You add like ten percent of any base coat color. Yeah, and it just turns it into that color. So that's a good way to do it too. Oh, all right. Could have no. done tan. Could have done tan. <laughs> look good. The original color of the yeah, truck is I this. Could have kept it all tan, but. Uh, is this tan like, like what's in the ceiling? Yeah. <laughs> right there, that tan. All right, well, I'm out. See you later, Con. Later.